All right, are you serious? I'm breaking in right now. It's late for me. I'm tired. Breaking news because there's two things going on at once. And uh, everybody's freaking out. My Facebook page is going nuts. I'm getting emails. And I'm getting texts. The deal is this. There's been a power outage in Southern California from San Diego through Arizona all the way to... From San Diego and Arizona and New Mexico, the entire large power outages. Now, the electric company on the grid, they're saying, hey, it's just because of excessive heat, too many people using power, air conditions flowing everywhere, we just couldn't maintain it. The problem I have with that is, and I'm, not that that couldn't be, but uh, we've had hot, look, it's been, it's been scorching all summer. And this is not as hot now as it was then. So I'm struggling with that, especially with the fact that the solar flares that were so large the last two days, the activity going on in the sun has been so large. And they said it's almost like tsunamis. Matter of fact, NASA even said it's the largest solar flare activity they've ever seen, ever. And there was, you know, they gave us a look, it's been said. That within a day or two, it may affect Earth, including the power grids. As a matter of fact, it was even projected it could affect North America. Well, here we are tonight. And you want to know something that was really crazy about this? It was happening just as the president was speaking about jobs. And this ain't got nothing to do with it, but I'm just saying the timing is so weird. Especially the second thing I'm going to tell you. And that is the... Uh, uh, Homeland Security has just come out with a major terror a threat warning. They've put it to high, high alert. There's definitely terrorism of threats are at high alert right now, especially for the Washington, D.C. and New York City. Um, so that was released the same time power outages in San Diego, Arizona, New Mexico, the grid... The same time the president was speaking before a joint session of Congress trying to come up with some kind of a job program. America! And what about the floodwaters? And there's power outages in Pennsylvania and in Connecticut and still in Vermont from Hurricane Irene. And of course there's flooding, more flooding because of Tropical Storm Lee, and now we've got this Hurricane Katia on the way. Don't know what that's going to do. And what about Tropical Storm Nate and Tropical Storm Maria that are working their way up there in uh, Puerto Rico area? And Puerto Rico also had an earthquake of 4.2 in the same area that, that the Tropical Storm Maria is. And there was a caller on my radio show on Liberty Broadcasting Network, uh, a lady by the name of Deborah from California, who actually called in, in the ra on the radio program to break the news to me of the earthquake in Puerto Rico at 4.2 in the same area that the tropical storm Maria was swirling and headed toward Puerto Rico. We got to pray for people in Puerto Rico. Folks, we got signs. We got signs of the second coming. We've got something biblically is going on, folks, with the signs of the second coming of the Lord. I don't know if you if you know it or not. But Jesus is going to come back. The Bible's signs are being fulfilled. Nobody knows the day nor the hour. I mean, there's a lot to go into that, and we, we can get into that. And uh, as a matter of fact, stay with me on YouTube. Stay with me. Stay with me. I may be back tonight. Stay with me. Definitely be watching in the morning my YouTube videos. We're going to break this thing down and then be listening for three hours every day, starting at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, three hours a day. Best way to remember it, I come on when Rush comes on. Be there, listen to me on Liberty Broadcasting Network. That's www.LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com. But listen, tomorrow morning on YouTube, right here, we're going to break down some serious Bible prophecy things that are happening. God bless you. Have a good evening. I pray for the people of San Diego. Matter of fact, I talked to a lady, Arlene, today on my radio program from where? San Diego. She even bought one of my books, Hosea Prophecy. Uh, God bless every one of you. Keep praying. Keep looking for the signs. Keep watching the signs. We're not there yet. 
We're not there yet, but just keep watching the signs. We're on our way. In Jesus' name.